Window Farms is a family owned and run vegetable production business based in Tent Hill, the Lockie Valley. I'm third generation, we have fourth generation coming on as well now and we primarily grow winter vegetables and potatoes. A recent challenge that's come along is diamondback moth and brassicas. I do see problems if we don't get this under control. We need to look at new ways and beneficial insects is one of those ways that we need to be looking at. We've had two releases of wasps and the idea of that is to try and eliminate some sprays, so some applications at the end of the crop. And so far we've seen reasonable results with that. We had a five hectare block of broccoli. Our approach was to do two releases of wasps at week two and week four. Um, in conjunction with several soft chemical sprays. We've harvested the broccoli now and we've had a, quite a good result. Pack outs are good and no evidence of live diamondback moth. By using diadegma as one of the tools, it allowed us to use Avatar, BTs, Movento and other soft chemistry by not killing the beneficial insects and also help breeding up the natural amount. We've been planting Elysium around the broccoli fields that acts as a nectar source for the wasp and a place for them to take shelter or live. The crop checker said if he wants to find them, he goes to those flowers and that's where they are. For the start of the season, this would have been the highest pressure we've ever had, the most diamondbacks we've ever seen. And for the result, we've had a great result with it. And it's very pleasing to see the end product. It's very clean. It hasn't been difficult. We just have to be more aware of our spray applications because if you put the wrong application of chemical out, you can do more damage than, than good there. One thing I've learned is to be open-minded. Use beneficial insects as another tool. And if what you're currently doing is not working, maybe it's time to change. Mm -hmm.